Hello, hello. This is Edgar again. Actually, I wanted to make much less uh, videos here. And, uh, but then there's more going on in this town here in these days during Mondo Musica 2020. So I thought I'm going to transmit directly here from the Piazza del Duomo, the main square of Cremona. And uh, such as you see it, that was exactly the same situation during the life of Stradivari. And in here, Cremona Fiere, which is now not actually going, but we are just made a the virtual exhibition with speed dates, all the participants, all the violin makers in Cremona who wanted to participate could participate thanks to the Chamber of Commerce, the ICE, Instituto Comercio Estero, um, which stands for the same thing as, as like ITA, Italian Trade Agency, even so there are two different organizations. They actually give a contribution, a very big contribution actually, so most of the makers only have to pay very little, so there's no excuse not to participate. And I think it is a very good uh, help for all of us to participate, to exhibit here physically, to make part of the speed date, which was uh, transmitted on this, even today, right now, um, transmitted on Zoom, on uh, Mondo Musica, on uh, uh, Cremona Musica page, uh, I think it's just a great exhibition and a great idea. Then they make mailings and all kinds of things. And just all this, this effort to give you a, a Cremona experience when it comes to violin making. And uh, there's also something in the, in the court here about guitars. And uh, now my idea was actually, we just go here, I turn the camera around you see here via Solferino, and then this here comes to the main square. People are enjoying life. It is very fresh here. Um, they have breakfast outside. Uh, it's cold, it's chilly, but the sun is kissing you here for a nice Sunday morning. By the way, all the back here at the corner, there was my workshop for 10 years when I was working with Grisales. And now there's uh, Giorgio all by himself in this workshop. And just a little bit before that, there is also Carlos Roberts. There is Caspar uh, Borchardt. There is, uh, I think, Marco Mario Gallo. And over there, there is uh, Ferron. We saw him in another video um, working over there. And now we just go into the city hall, into this one uh, to see the exhibition. In here, down there, there is the Piazza Stradivari, okay? So the idea is the people don't know that I'm coming. I just gave to um, Stefano Trabuchi uh, my case with two violins, and I told him, hey, please, can you just um, carry my instruments upstairs so that when I come, my instruments are at least displayed. Here you see how people are actually um enjoying Sunday morning in Cremona. Um, here are some signs uh, about uh, concerts going on here for um, guitars. Uh, I was listening yesterday to this um, uh, music going on here. It's all about uh, the distance, certainly the chairs are far away, but music is being made here. Um, and uh, we just go through here and uh, I have to walk around here. Sounds like Anna is looking with nice eyes to me. Thank you. Um, this was not organized. It's completely um, out of the idea because I think it is a good thing here this is the announcement um how it is the palazzo comunale is actually the major goes to work here into this door and if you have to ask for some permits and things like this you go in here this is the steps all the way up now i don't put the mask because i need to breath here a little bit the door is open 
and I don't know, it's 200 steps to heaven. And here is the exhibition going on. I just wanted to show you this building. It's extremely high, everything. And here is, oh, Dajé. We just stopped by at his workshop this morning. And uh, very nice. He's a Cremonese maker, born in Cremona. Yes. It's in Via Robolotti. What was your number? Via 22. 22, very good. So Thank you, you are much. also coming. So I'm going to check your instruments very soon. And uh, now we go up. He has to carry cello, violin, and viola too. Oh, wow. Okay. So now uh, I'm, I'm a little bit weak in my legs now. Hold on. I have to put my mask here first before. I just want to show you all the road I was working right now. And sorry, I have to put on the mask here. Mm. It's not easy task with the ear uh, plugged inside. Okay, sorry. I have to show you how I look like right now. Not very good. Okay. This is how I look with my mask right now. Okay. So this here is the entrance. We have to um, clean our hands here a little bit, right? This is makes part of the game here. And the nice lady here is going to measure my temperature. I just want to uh, disinfect my fingers here. This is my pass. I am an exhibitor at this exhibition, which I think is very good. Buongiorno. Vediamo un po'. Okay. Anche ieri. Va bene. Okay. So now I will flip the camera. Oops, uh, sorry. And here we are, actually. This is the entrance desk of the fair. We get the pass here. And then we're here in our nice exhibition in the city hall. And here are all my friends. And uh, exhibiting, not, not everybody is here yet. It's, it's in the morning, you know. And, uh, but we were actually, most of the makers were a little bit, um, how should I say, a little bit, we are not preoccupied. We just said, yeah, we will, we're going to make this exhibition, but nobody will stop by. But here already the first visitors are coming. And yesterday, we were surprised how many people were actually passing by. So my idea was now to show you all the exhibitors. And this is Benedict. I was with her together for the past three years, um, director uh, on the board of directors, and she's one of the board of directors of the consortium. The consortium is something I make part of. It is an association, I told you already, which is um, kind of a, a, a guarantee between the maker and the customer. We created a certificate and the certificate is nothing else than that it will be issued during the process of making of every instrument. Um, every instrument needs to be taken, the pictures of the material. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I just show you this one. Then later on, you can maybe stop it and read it exactly and very carefully. And so you are, even if the maker is, of course, making the instrument, but here is somebody, a different institution is certifying that the violin is made by that maker in Cremona in his workshop with his hands. This violin we made all together, like 17 makers, and it's still available. And uh, is, a, I think, a very nice um, example that many masters together was not an easy task can make an instrument and has a 
a specific value because I don't know how many instruments exist where 17 makers make together a violin. I was in charge to organize a little bit this, pro this project as well. And I did the setup and I think it sounds good. It has been already uh, part of a lot of exhibitions and we would love to sell it in order that the finances of our consortium are great. We always make a one year after another, but you know, it is uh, always good if money comes in. Next one here, what is here? We have here Giorgio Grisales, Andrea Grisales. I saw Andrea, but he, he escaped. He's probably scary about the camera. But I even sent a message to Giorgio. Giorgio is now the president as last three years of the consortium. I worked with Giorgio for 10 years together in Via Sicardo in Cremona. And the, the cello you can see here is a, is a um, Ferdinando Garimberti copy, which Giorgio himself made. And I think it is very, very nice looking, very nice uh, made. Giorgio is extremely on, on, the, on the beauty of the instrument. So this is just something very nice. Very nice wood. Giorgio is always nice. Postcards. He loves his business cards with gold and things like this. And here probably this is a violin of his uh, nephew Ricardo, I believe so. Ah, Ricardo is here. Ciao, Ricardo. Ciao. Mm. Here, Daniele Tonarelli, you know him already from many times. Every time we make a fair in Shanghai, in Germany, um, he actually wants to participate also next fair in, at the NAM, but very likely it will be a digital fair, but I'm trying to convince him. And here there's a cello, which was played yesterday in the, in the Mondo Musica Speed State. And uh, this violin, which was played, is an Ole Bull. It's a very nice violin. We have actually, we share, I, I'm, I have to say that we eat lunch every day together. And he's wearing a mask, which my sister was making. And I can tell he likes it because he wears it a lot. The Ole Bull, uh, I have actually the mold. I share it with him together because one made the, 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 the templates, the other one made the food mold and then... Uh, if one is making it, then we, 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 we share it. Um, he has a, a shop here, a workshop very close by. And uh, Daniele, for many years, we shared the booth during um, uh, Shanghai Music Fair. And here you can violin violin.tonarelli.com. Uh, you can search him and you can get in touch with him. Okay. Then here we have Angelo Sperzaga. He's also a director of uh, board of director of the consortium. is also a very active in the violin making school. And uh, how you can see, he's even working during an exhibition. Busy man, very busy. Justo, justo, justo. You can't see how he's laughing, but I can see from his eye that he's laughing here. These are two violins he, he made. Both are two guanieris. Very interesting. Very different work than me, but actually I also like to see instruments when they are made like this, you know. There are a lot of people who say even Stradivari made his instruments new, so I think this is nice, but also guanieris were new one day. So we just flip one violin so you can see the how it looks in the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very clean and very nice. Probably very good sounding. Like this. Okay. So then I don't want to annoy you here with Edgar Roos, distinguished violin maker. This is me. I, I didn't put my things here so nice this morning because I just gave my violins to somebody. This is the Testore 
which I just wanted to show and I still have to make a video about this one. And this is my Sainton, which has been played yesterday during the, uh, the transmission. And then here we have Fiorella Anelli and Yutaya. Okay. Excuse me. Posso? Tranquillo, tranquillo. Io passo giusto così. Here we have a Beric violin, or it's, it, it seems Beric. No, it is Beric. Oh, this is interesting. So we have here the the the, uh, the saddle here in in kind of ivory, but it's not ivory, of course. And then with gut strings. And then here the, the neck. Beric, very interesting. Bello, molto bello. Huh? So Fiorella makes also barrack violence, good to know, you know. So here you have the neck, just the, the neck on a barrack violin is just nailed onto the ribs and not inserted into the body, how you can tell here. So she made it very nice. New made uh, barrack violin, very nice wood, very clean work. You can tell a Cremonese maker. Yeah. The bridge here. Yeah, this is very nice. Complimenti. Molto bello. So she has a barrack violin and then she has a... This one seems like a Amati or... No, Guarneri. Okay, now I've missed the sort of delay. Excuse me. This one here is a Guarneri. Okay, okay, up here. Okay. Uh-huh. For those who don't know, um, all violins, all guanieris, all Stradivarius have been um, baroque when they were made, okay? Just, just to let you know that. They were all later on transformed to the modern neck, to the ebony fingerboard, with the neck inserted into the body, how you can tell here, okay? With a bridge like this, and, 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 okay? So, this is... Very nice. Uzi della vernice ad olio or olio, oil varnish. I could tell. Very accurate. I don't know if it's focused here. You don't know. Complimenti. Fatti tutti due quest'anno? No, uh -huh. Ah, 2015, 2020. Very interesting. Smile. <laughs> Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> then here we have my friend from Holland. Uh, you have to know that I'm also Dutch, uh, half Dutch and half from Austria. He's from Holland, Matthias Heligas. He's for many years already in Cremona, close to 40 years, I guess so. Over 40 years, 45 years. And uh, he has here two violins. We listened to them yesterday when uh, Michael Gutmann was playing them. I, I saw them uh, and they were sounding very nice. Here this building is, is actually very nice. Even so, there is one pigeon in here, you know. One, one pigeon is here, so we have to worry that the pigeons don't make here a mess. Oh, certainly, they like uh, good sound. Mm -hmm. They want to listen to our violins. Very nice work more brownish color which is actually always so so very nice because Cremonese usually use too much red and sometimes i catch myself as well that my instruments are a little bit too red very nice very charming very instrument very nice yeah very interesting for those who don't know him, Helliger's Violin House di Matthias Helliger's. Okay, very good. I will put all the, the links and everything down below, not today, because today I'm a little bit busy, sorry. But uh, tomorrow, by tomorrow evening, I will put all the links and web pages and everything down below on this video. And you just leave your comments and you, sort, you tell me what you think about all the instruments you're seeing, very nice fittings as well. I love this. 
<laughs> Are you this one you made during the lockdown? Very nice. Absolutely, Absolutely undisturbed. Uh -huh. And it was played yesterday in the auditorium uh -huh. by Michael Siskovic. Oh, okay. He made a very interesting, uh, very beautiful performance of Tartini works on it. Uh -huh. The packs, where do they come from? Oh, they come from Germany, yes. Oh, German, because yeah. they look very nice, uh, very accurate, very nice so looking. But they yeah. are very old packs, actually. Uh -huh. I've had them already for over 20 years. So really? I so very really seasoned packs. Still, yes. During the lockdown, you had to go to your stock you have. Exactly. And uh, we all did something, you know. It's a very nice... We all reinvented ourselves. Right. Compliments. Very nice. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Prego, nice prego. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, oh, bye-bye. Casa del Violino, you might ask who is this? This is the fellow we visited by chance this morning. It's Vladimir, Vladimir Kubanzi. This Casa del Violino is his company name. And I will also put certainly his contact down below in the video. And I think that would be accedere, non sono io. Sorry, oops, I had you. And here we have the violin we saw this morning. Mm. And uh, so here we have Vladimir. He is always super active, very nice. Even here, you can see a little bit the tool marks. Very charming and teaching. Very all right, it's nice to keep this instrument in the hand, nice neck, all right. Yeah, this is a Guarneri, but a nice one. It's cute, charming. Oops. E ancora in vendita? Ah, still available. Okay, so you can uh, probably, you can go to his website and ask him here, this just this stand here for the for the business cards is already something. He is the guy who makes really nice things here. I love all his. He's very artistic. And then here you have him working in a small short video. And this violin we looked already this morning, but just to show it for the ones who didn't see the video of this morning, this here is actually the violin. He made, he is um, here already for many years, 25, 30, 20 years, okay. It feels like 50, you know. He is just like an institution here in Cremona. We can't live without him. He is connecting people. He is very good. And in the morning, he's the first one on the road with Momo, right? This is a very interesting violin. And I guess this is a, Vladimir also, um, before he's closing the instrument, gets a, like a painting or a drawing inside the instrument. Not every time, but you know, if he feels like he does things like this, very particular, but I think I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, he's a little bit shy, you wouldn't say yes, so, but yes, this is, uh, but now with the mask, it's easier, you know. So then here we have Manuel Di Landa. Manuel is not here physically or I don't know. But we will also take his business card. And uh, I want to see his instruments, of course. And uh, instruments are very dark, but very interesting. Very interesting. Nice work. I didn't know him it's, it's, but i'm always interested to see all these instruments has something particular particular style but i like it when people have their own way to do things and this is actually very nice and is made, this violin, I cannot see it, it is made in 2020, okay. 
This is interesting, yeah? Interesting, interesting. And he has also two instruments. The one I showed you was a Stradivari, and this one here is also Stradivari. This one is not antiqued. It's a little always his dark, intense varnish, but looks actually interesting. Savia, thank you, Edgar. You're welcome, Savia. Okay, and this one is made in 2020 as well. So here there are instruments from Manuel Di Landa, Ryosuke Ito. I looked at these instruments already yesterday. I have to take his business card in order that I can put these things in. And this is Ito. Ciao, Ito. Ito is a student now from uh, Jens Johansson. Jens Johansson is also a maker. He was my, my um, student. He came to, from Sweden to make, uh, actually in the beginning, only archings for um, uh, jazz guitars and then settled here in Cremona and is now here living already for many years. He also runs, uh, Jens runs also a, a bed and breakfast, but he's very good in in restoration because he was working with in the workshop of Weishar in the United States and Ito is a student or pupil of Jens right now and uh, his violins are varnished with oil varnish interesting how it looks like and a very accurate and very nice texture of the varnish I'm sorry that the light is not so fancy but maybe like this you can see here it's a nice texture. You can you can tell it is a, a oil varnished instrument, and everything is very natural but perfect in itself without cleaning too much. So it's it's something I, I if somebody says Stradivari and Guarneri made new instruments, then I probably would go for something like this, and then in the hands of a musician with a little bit of aggressive um, sweat and things like this, these instruments will age very nice, I guess so. And we have both instruments, I guess, in 2020, 2020, yeah? During the quarantine, okay. Wow, so you, you work at your house at home. I couldn't go to the workshop of Jens. Okay. I have to work at home, so I did. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. And let's have a look to the second one. We want to see them all, right? This is the purpose of this visit, of this exhibition, where we can meet each other, where we can uh, compare each other, where we make friendships. And uh, people stop by to look at our instruments very nicely. You can tell he works with Jens. Bridges are made very nice, very accurate. Fingerboard, perfect fingerboard, as I can tell here. And uh, very nice, you know, the preciseness of an instrument you see on some things and makers, uh, among makers, I can tell what is what very interesting you should definitely remember this one okay grazie sono ancora disponibile both violins are still available you should drop him a, a few words very good grazie grazie then here we have Daje. we just passed at diego's workshop this morning and he was walking up with the cello and the violin and even a viola he has in his bag but we are only supposed to exhibit with two instruments here, right? Yeah. So, possiamo solo far vedere due strumenti, giusto? So here we have an interesting cello. This is a uh, mon... Okay. Okay. Guarneri. Yes. 
Guarneri, Andrea Guarneri, ok. Huh? A Giuseppe Guarneri, wow, interessante. Hmm? Well, I have to turn around, there's too much light like this. We have to see like this. I think so, like this, you see better, right? Interesting. One, one, uh, past, uh, half, it will be possible to listen to it uh, on the... On the Mondo Musica speed date, it will be played between 1 to 1.30 1 p.m. Uh, a, is it a.m. or p.m.? Well, in the, in, in the lunchtime, p.m., okay. Interesting. Very nice. Interesting model. I'm convinced that it sounds very good because it's so good. Wow. This is a nice cello. I have to put it back here, sorry. Yeah. I have to put my other earphones, sorry. You cannot hear me like this is better. And uh, then I have here also a violin. A violin by oh, a violin he made with Francesco Bisolotti. So Francesco Bisolotti, for those who didn't know, um, passed away a few years ago. And he made them, he learned with Francesco Bisolotti and made the violin. And here's even a, a dedication of, of uh, Bisolotti written by hand into the certificate of Francesco Bisolotti. So this is actually a very interesting uh, piece. This has already a nice story to tell, this violin. Uh, interesting, interesting. The first time that I'm looking at these certificates like this. And here, violin 1705. And then he had to sign the measurements. Very nice. Francesco Bisolotti is, is like the, a guarantee for what you're purchasing. Probably he's also issuing a certificate right now for his own certificate because he's also already quite good and famous. But at the time, 2006, 14 years ago, this was for him very uh, outstanding experiment or uh, experience, sorry. So here you have this instrument born in the workshop of Francesco Bisolotti next to Bisolotti. Bisolotti was a very um, clear maker who wanted to have things made only in a certain way. Uh -huh, one piece back, very nice. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Okay. During the speed day, there will be the chance to listen to uh, much more recent. Uh, the violin you made, yes. Okay. Because violin, viola, and cello. Okay. So, uh, three kinds of products I made. Okay. And also, very recent, I made three the uh, lockdown. Okay. Super. Ti prendo ancora un biglietto da visita, metto nel video anche a te sotto questo. We take this in our pocket and put it into, and I will put it later on into the. Here they are playing very tough, so I will slightly avoid them. I know that you want to listen to all the instruments right now, but I will go first to Trabuki and then I will come when they stop, and then I will see the instruments of Sibylle. Sibylle, she is Sibylle. Boycott, but later on I will come and see this, okay? So we go all the way down to um, to Stefano Trabuchi. Stefano, ti fai vedere le tue cose. This one here is on the other side. The first one. Hello. There's also my mean. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have also. Okay, so this is Stefano Trabuchi. He is really a nice maker, a nice charming person. He is, as Vladimir, a person who is connecting people here in Cremona very much because he is uh, always trying to find peaceful and nice ways to solve questions of us. The whole event here 
was actually a very good idea from Stefano Trabuchi. And uh, this is, he is the person who made possible all this here. And we're really grateful. And then certainly with the help of the Chamber of Commerce of Cremona, the ICE and the ITA, the makers have a financial help to take part here. But Stefano was the one who had the idea of this. And for those who don't know, it's good to tell you, this is a very nice cello. And uh, you should search on him because he's a very nice person, nice maker, reliable maker. I will put his uh, information as the well. Oh, wow, same wood. So somebody could even take a whole quartet. You still have wood for this for the violins or, or yes? yes? But, uh, but, uh, so, but the, that would be if you if you just pay now like half of the amount of the quartet, he would make also two violins, yeah. and then you would have a nice quartet. This would be something, you know. This looks super great. It's just really nice. Complimenti, veramente bellissimo, bellissimo. This is very nice. Okay, and just to see here one more violin. What is this violin here? Devo andare qua perché la luce è troppo forte. And this is a Strat Antiqued. And it's also very nice here. Mm -hmm. This is also very nice. Very nice. With this logo here. One piece bag certainly would sound very interesting. Very active maker, Stefano you, Trabuchi, you, very good person and is contributing a lot to the entire violin making of Cremona. And thanks to him, there are many things made here. Grazie, grazie a te. Ottimo. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. And then here we go next to the next ones, Andrea Varazzani. He is actually a maker who was also working with me. Um, he was working and varnishing a lot of instruments for me, the, the more affordable ones for many years. Now recently I, I varnished them uh, all by myself because he opened his own workshop and uh, is doing everything by himself now. So I guess he doesn't have even any more time this is a cello which is decorated as the copy of the Amati King cello from 1570. And uh, so here you have this super nice decorated cello from Andrea Varazzani. This is just, I went with Andrea together to the United States in, the, in January to the NAM show. It was very pleasant. I got to know him even better. We are friends. Uh, we help each other. He's working in Sesto Cremonese. Sesto Cremonese is like six, seven kilometers out of town, north uh, direction Milan, hometown of uh, Storioni. And this here is the Guarnieri Cannone from 1743, which he made a copy. And here you can see, this is Andrea. Ciao. And now recently, Andrea even has a new Varazzani maker in his workshop. And it is his brother who is helping him and is starting to make his own instruments as well. And uh, very charming. When it comes to varnish, Andrea is really, really good in varnishing because he he varnished over the years well i shouldn't say so but hundreds of instruments hundreds of instruments is is this something i think this just is it's just awesome it's just really awesome yeah he has also this graphic things which his brother is creating recently 
and uh, his brother was actually living in in London, and uh, and then suddenly I'm always invited by Andrea's mother, and uh, she is cooking. You can't imagine how people here live and how good they 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 live and what they eat and how good they eat. The mother of Andrea here, and this is his brother. Ah, okay. They make so much noise that I cannot go to the violence of Sibylle, I'm sorry. And here we have them again, Sibylle, standing in front of the tooth of Amorim Fine Violence. Amorim is uh, uh, this man here, and this is his son, okay, Amorim. And they are now next to the museum at the... At uh, in Cremona, they arrived a few years ago, two, three years ago, to Cremona, opened the workshop. He has before worked only in Brazil, and then they decided to go to Cremona. And uh, here he made a copy of the uh, Domenico Montagnana Sleeping Beauty. Uh, and it's very charming and teaching. And... Uh, Cozy. Like this. Here, like this. I take maybe the cello out so then you can see it better. He has put a lot of, of, of specific things on this cello. Light is not very good here. I'm so sorry. I, I have to go to more lights. Sorry. Okay. And so here we have here the, the, the Sleeping Beauty from Amorim, Louis. Uh, this is the scroll. I think it really looks nice. Very nice and ticking and with precision tags here. Then he has a specific bridge on the cello, which he cuts all by himself. And then he has these titanium pieces which protect the bridge. It's uh, a lot of new things. Then he has also a new tailpiece, which is out of pressed paper with the titanium fine tuners. And then I, with one hand, I can't handle. There's also the, the, the end pin out of titanium stick and things like this, okay? So there is a lot of, it's a very nice antique, but it's a very an innovative cello. Mm, I'm not so sure about everything, but I appreciate the, the effort and I would go on every detail singularly and to check it out. Certainly something we, we should do. And uh, yeah, it's interesting, interesting. Then here we have a very nice um, violin. Yesterday he had the the Guarneri um, Sainton also here, which I make. This is the Guarneri Cesole. Here I have to show you the Cesole 1736, a copy he made. Yesterday I saw the Sainton of him. This one looks also very nice. Has really the impression of an antique instrument. Uh, I have to turn around so then you see it better. Maybe like this. Very good. This looks very nice. Sorry that there is no like this is better. Very charming, very nice interesting tailpiece out of kind of plywood um have to ask him and then he has this, this gut string he's just twisting it in order that this is only on one line and this uh he told me is is good for the vibration so the tailpiece can can twist uh easier and vibrate easier in the rotation okay interesting and here, Louis made a, quite a traditional bridge, okay. Very interesting, 
and very uh, actually very curious about all these very innovative uh, details he made. Very good. And we take also Luan is the co-founder. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, I have to see this one. Luan. Okay. Very good. Tu sai Luan? No. Luan è tuo fratello, tuo it's papà è Lois. Okay. Okay. He's a manager and he's the CEO. He make the sellings uh -huh. uh, and manage the, the company. Okay. And me and my father, uh, we are more in the restoration and construction. Okay. Ottimo, tu mi puoi scrivere veloce il tuo nome e poi, eh, e poi dopo di tuo papà lo so, e poi dopo mi dai questo. Grazie. And here we have Sibile Borchardt. Eh? Sibile, posso vedere? Scusami. Sibile Borchardt, she is the wife of, of uh, Gaspar. Sibile Fea from Germany. Uh, she's an icon here in Cremona because they have the workshop in the main square and uh, next to uh, Carlos Roberts, and in the back side, is there still a uh, Gallo? Chiba. Ah, Chiba. Ah, Manuel Chiba is there. Okay, okay. So this is a very next, uh, similar, in the, in the same area where Grisales is. This morning, we stopped into Via Robolotti, but this is a different corner on the other side of the square. I have to turn around because of the light. Very nice violin. What model is this? Hmm? Che modello? Che modello Kuchanski. Oh, okay. <laughs> molto bello. E il tuo? Il tuo molto bello. Okay. Nice, charming, and teaking. And we just listened to the instrument during the past five makers. So the instruments sound very well. They focus a lot on the sound. As actually everybody but you know uh, it's very cute <laughs> working here thank you so much this is nice violin a nice popular viola <laughs> a popular viola i also have a popular viola okay this one is a viola what size is this this 40 a 40 which is a good size so for people who want, wow, this is a really nice, charming piece. I just have so bad light here, like this is better. It's crazy. Than, uh, and the light is somehow, yeah, this is just really interesting. This poplar is, is typical wood here from the Po area. And uh, you have to watch out that it's not too much flamed, otherwise it's breaking. But this one is actually very nicely chosen, even the ribs in poplar. Interesting, interesting, and very good. I didn't expect to make such a long transmission about all this, but I think it is very important that you see all the instruments which are made here in Cremona right now, and all of us are here. You saw all the Companies, grazie mille, ti, ti prendo ancora un biglietto da visita. Take also her business card, I have to see then all the other ones as well. Um, yeah, I think this was a, a very good uh, impression about Mondo Musica here. Uh, this year, a very different uh, exhibition. Uh, and uh, this is how it looks like, okay. And I'm glad that I could give you a, a short inside view of this uh, Mondo Musica now. And now I will probably go and show you the other activity which I heard is going on. I heard it last night, so I'm, I, I just want you to sh give you the, the full Cremona Mondo Musica experience. So I will leave my instruments here. And I will go and show you the Bottega Aperta, which are young makers who created the association and are showing the instruments at the uh, Ristorante Bar Cherry 
the Piazza um, Giovanni XXIII, and we just go there live, and uh, we just make this, okay? This is live from uh, Mondo Musica. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.